Like a hitch, but to die, get some money. That shit lame. See how I, I tried to do a little intro. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, that shit was cringe. Yay. I should clap myself. Oh, that shit was cringe. Hey, man. Hey, y'all here anyway. Fuck it. Y'all gotta deal with it. Y'all still ain't hit this bitch, bro. Like, bro, I'm like four videos in. Still ain't hit. I'm, I'm scared to face this bitch, bro. Swear to God. But hey man, we doing we you know I feel like watching the motherfucking other story today. I want y'all to come bring y'all with me. Fight, fight it, fight it, fight it. We watch the story today. We have to watch the 051 Melly. I heard a lot of shit about oh I heard a lot of shit about 051 Melly, bro. That nigga is really one of them. Hey man. That nigga 051 Melly. Uh nah. Nah no listen, I'm cook, I'm cook, I'm cook, no listen. Smack. Every fan of Chicago Drill knows the top BD rappers like King Von and Lil Durk. But some of their ops are just as famous in the city based on their reputation in the streets. 051 Melly was one of Von and Durk's main enemies and had a reputation as being one of the most feared. Bro, let's see, these niggas causing havoc on these niggas, bro. Man, hell no, the talk, bro. Time out, bro. I quit type Gang shit. Gang members in Chicago. That nigga was let's causing take a havoc, look at boy. The life of 051 Melly. One of the deadliest shooters in Chirac's history. Melly was born Yarmel Williams sure. and sure. came up on the south sure. sure. we'll side sure. sure. of Chicago. He grew Yarmel. up in the Calumet Building or Randolph Towers, but eventually moved to 59th in Calumet with his family after the project was tore down. He grew up with his mother, his brother Wu, and his sister Kenya. Wu's father and Melly's stepfather, Jerome Golden, was a well-known BD in Chicago who is currently serving a life sentence for four murders and a robbery. Smack, Plus, gang. Melly also has several uncles. Gang, gang, I am flying right now. No funny shit. You down there? Why you all? You, you, you all down there? Smack. And cousins who were well connected to the streets included Mubu, Kurt Mack, Look. and No Limit G Slim, who was one of the founders of NLMB. So Melly was exposed to gangs from a young age, and nearly everyone around him was about that life. But just because your family is well known in the streets doesn't mean that you'll automatically get respect from them too. And Melly still had to earn his title as a respected savage. Growing up in the Calumet building, Melly got cool with the Hell BDs who claimed the area. But he would later attend Deucible High School where he would start mixing in with Mickey Cobras. Melly would get close to a dude named 051 Zico who was part of the 051 Money Gang. 051 Money Gang is a set that's made up of members of different gangs, including BDs, Black P Stones, this and Mickey Stone. Melly fit right in with all his affiliations. Melly started out as a DD. There have also video, been rumors to switch to Mickey Cobra because 051's main ops are O Block, 600, Lamron, and other BD sets. Melly would get involved in this beef, making him BDK or a renegade BD for going at war with members of his own gang. What was clear is that Melly repped Young Money, which was considered right, a renegade squad that lived by their own rules BDK. and didn't follow any particular gang. Melly would get even closer to the set after 051 Zico was murked by someone from THF. Wow. This was the murder that would turn Melly into a savage and made him turn up in the streets. 051 Zico's death was set off a major beef between Young Money uh, and THF, with Melly being one of the main aggressors. He would get retaliation for Zico's death in 2010. Then, a 600 member named M Thang would kill a member of Young Money. Them, 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 uh, them Chicago nigga with the they Gucci belt and shoes and boots undefeated, bro. Named 051 T Street. Nigga got no feet with off that the war shit. with 600 and any sets they were allied with. Melly and 051 Kiddo would then get and revenge from 600 shit. Shack on the 5900 block of South Calumet Avenue. So at this point, Melly had a few bodies under his belt and would establish himself as a fierce shooter. Scrape y'all, scrape y'all, scrape. Gang, if they went after his friends, what made Melly so different was that he had connections to various These gangs across the city. Oh, but when it came time for war, he didn't care Shit. who was on the other side. Many claimed that he played the streets like a chess game, paying close attention to who was close with who, stalking his ops on social media, weird and studying their movements to get the weird out shit, bro. That's weird out shit, bro. The BDs got their revenge by killing a 14 year old from 051 named Fats. That Melly was close weird, to Fats bro. and his murder really affected him, turning his heart colder and making him even more of a savage. 051 would start going by the name Fats World after I'm he was killed to, that to honor their That's fallen crazy. brother the way that Oblock did for Odie Perry or Tukaville did for Tuka. Melly's homie 051 Kiddo would take part in getting revenge for Fat's death. First, 
051 Kiddo would catch 600 tricks lacking in his car in the Washington Park neighborhood of the South Side. Then, a witness claimed to have seen tricks, C Day, and LA Capone from 600 at the scene on the day that Fats was killed. Not long after that, LA Capone would be murdered, leaving a recording studio. He was one of the biggest stars from 600 and was just starting to blow up as a rapper. So his death was a what serious said, setback for the group, which would only make things between the PDs and 051. And next day, 50 Cake. Say it well, buckle my plate. Cash, gotta keep. This nigga. Think I'm sweet, come try me, Oh, hold on. We need to do a reaction to that? Hold on. We might, hey, we gotta do a reaction to that. That bitch was hard. For sure. What's that? Uh, Big Key Wobbly? For sure. For sure. Much that more that heated. Is. Several dudes from 600 started going at Melly on Twitter and disrespecting Fats. Like many street dudes in Chicago, Melly. Google ass computer, man. Tighten up. That bitch. It's great. It's known for being disrespectful. Like many street dudes from Chicago, Melly was known for being disrespectful on social media and clapped back at his ops. Members of 600 who were still mourning the death of Ain't that nigga Capone, a rap, bro? took this disrespect Take personally, on. making Melly one of the BD's most hated ops. The nigga said, Soon man. after, the BD's would get retaliation. At first, 051's didn't have many rappers and were known for getting their payback in the streets rather than in the music. But a rising young money rapper named Lil Mark would earn some clout for sending shots at the BDs, who at that point were much more famous on a music level. Lil Mark dropped a remix of Lil Durk's song, Competition, called No Competition, where he did several members of 600, OTF, oh, Lamar, ass. and other BD sucks by name. Still angry over he the death of LA uh, Capone, the BDs got their revenge pretty quickly, and shit, Lil Mark was killed just three days after dropping the disc. Shit, to make things even worse, Lil Mark's death was then used as a way to mock 051 with members of 300, 600, and OTF joining in to disrespect their homies. The rapper was killed while waiting for a bus. Several BDs posted pictures and videos to social media near the bus stop where he was killed, including Lil Durk, who posted a video at the spot Lil this, Mark was he, shot. This is a famous spot right here. Says, this Dick that ass right thing, now, This is a real famous place with the caption, free THF TV. I didn't hear that, man. Bus stop, man. Hey, it's this, a famous this, place. Hey, 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 this bus stop right here, though? This, this, this is a real famous place, you hear me? This is a real famous place. <laughs> yeah, I'm not here to write out my money, nigga. Uh, that video where is it? to Melly, who was close with Lil Mark, and would eventually lead to him to seek revenge on some of the people closest to Dirk. A few months later, Melly would watch Dirk's cousin, OTF Nunu, or Nooski, Sitting in a park. Hey, bro, did y'all see the video with Dirk when he seen like when he seen the uh, picture? Uh, he seen OTF label a few days before he was killed. That shit. He had released a single like, called OC that was doing major numbers, and he seemed like he might be the next know. rapper from the South Side to build a buzz. I don't know. But I'm shut up in the video. Yeah. Full potential oh, and was tragically killed due to his associations with Dirk. He was sitting in one of Dirk's SUVs at the time, and many think that either Melly thought he was shooting at Dirk. Or he just went looking for the rapper and killed his cousin because he was an easier target. Either way, Nooski lost his life, even in the score between 051 and OTF 600 after Lil Mark was killed. But Melly didn't stop there. Nigga, Less than a year later, minutes, Dirk's bro. manager Grim. OTF Chino was shot and killed in a similar situation Chino, while sitting in a parked car in the 8400 block of South Stony Avenue. Before he was shot, Chino had appeared in the music video for a song called Bus Stop by THX. That's that one dude. I forgot his name. He got, uh, he, he got, uh, fuck, what's his name? He got blicked outside the jail. That nigga hit huge, bro. What's his name? I can't I can even tell you his name, bro. It's some. What's of his South name? Stony Avenue. Before he was shot, Chino had appeared in the music video. Y'all seen him, y'all seen him, right? For a song. Him right here. You put the blick in your eyes, him. That nigga did. A bus stop by THFTP, which was filmed on the spot where Lil Mark was killed. Around the same time, Dirk also sent shots at 051 on a remix to Chief Keith's Finito, where he rapped, bitch, I'm riding through the ops, finna go and shoot young money up. <laughs> Melly clearly wasn't gonna tolerate the disrespect and slid on Chino the first chance he could get. If that wasn't bad enough, after Chino was killed, is it Melly all would get facts, on social media, bro, just, mock his dead op, he's going where you know, an IG live session that he was eating a Chino burger. Chino like burger. Yeah, a Chino burger. That's what they said. Melly's homie, Mubu Crump, a GD, Chino a King Louis Man Up Band Up set. I, had, I, I did another one. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go watch it. 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 Chino was killed to order a Chino burger. Chino burger. Throw it away. Hey, this motherfucker focus his hell, man. Y'all, this ain't done, man. He's fucking a burger, the burger. Ooh, a burger. Good. Come to burger. Get it together, man. For real, this shit bogus as hell, man.
Straight up, man. Detroit, that means two people Amber, plus crazy. Dirk, who were killed in his beef with 051, be and Nelly became the target of the uh, uh, The rapper dropped several diss tracks that. aimed at Melly. But at that point, Dirk was taking over the rap game, and Melly was still heavily in the streets. Right. So it wasn't easy for shit. He get money. What you doing? You watching his ass. Which is why Melly chose to target Nooski and Chino. It was even rumored that Dirk put a price on Melly's head, which eventually led to him getting hit up. THF Raheem would slide on Melly and two of his homies on the 600 block of South Wentworth Avenue Raheem. in the Eaglewood neighborhood. All three would survive, but Melly would catch a bullet to the head and foot. Fuck. 051 Ario, who was also hitting the shooting, would quickly get revenge on Raheem. This opened up a whole bunch of problems for Melly and 051. THF Raheem was the blood cousin of FBG Duck and the stepson Shit. of another fierce Chirac killer named THF Bezu. Melly and Duck were known to be tight, but Duck also understood. I know, bro, it's scary. He fucked with them gremlins. He fucked with them real gremlins, gang. I'm only just listening, but no, bro. He probably his nigga motherfucker. Uh, stomach went his ass. I know it did. I for sure. Uh, he said, Duck, he said, uh, TSF. THF, Bezu, and Melly were also ops, but they had mutual respect as rival street legends. They even famously went on IG Lives together and bragged about their body counts while outlining the war between their two sets. But disrespect doesn't equal mercy, and after a step on the field, Zoo was out for blood. He ended up catching Melly lacking at a house party along with his friend Mubu Crumb. The two were standing on the front lawn when the vehicle rolled up and shot them both. Crump was killed, while Melly miraculously survived once again, even though he was grazing the head. So that's twice that Melly would survive a headshot, only to be back on the streets, haunting his ops not long after. Although Melly was likely the intended target for allegedly being with Aria yeah, when they stood on oh, THF Raheem, Crump was also known to diss THF and other BDs. So he was probably just in the wrong place at the wrong time, and THF decided to take him out for running his mouth and chilling with their ops. Surviving two back-to-back -back shootings only helped Melly's reputation in the streets, and it was only a matter of time before he was back in action. 051 would soon lose another member named Bankroll Q. Melly would be the one to get payback and would slide on the two ops thought to be responsible. But Melly's thirst for revenge Man, couldn't be satisfied when he kept up bodies on top of bodies while somehow staying out of reach of his enemies. Although he got his payback, he let it be known that he still had a hatred for Dirk and wanted revenge. After Dirk and Von Dirk and murder, about that nigga, following bro. a shooting outside the varsity in Atlanta, Melly went on social media to voice his opinion. He told the world that he hoped Dirk and Vaughn would beat the case because he would rather see them dead than in prison. That's how a free Dirk girl and Vaughn. Free them though. I'd rather them dead than in jail. Weird. So it seemed like it was only a matter of time before Melly would continue his reign of terror and go after another person close to the two rappers. But Melly wouldn't get the chance and he'd end up losing his life in an unrelated beat. Around that time, Melly had gotten close with a set called Jaro City. Like 051 Money Gang, Draw City is made up of various different gangs, including GDs and Renegade BDs. After Melly's homie Motor from Draw City was killed, the gravedigger of Chirac started getting reckless. With so many people close to him dead and so many bodies under his own belt, Melly started to get out of control. His reputation in the streets made him a little too comfortable. But Man, this shit like a movie, bro. So many enemies. Y'all watching this shit with He ended up getting into it with a dude named Double O Seven. Hey, nigga, hands on his stomach. World they kick it back relax. Melly responded by shooting up Nate's house while his baby mother and newborn child were hey, inside. Shout out to bro right here. No one was hit, but it was enough for Nate to seek revenge. In September 2019, Melly attended a house party that was being thrown by FBG in Jarl City to celebrate the passing of one of Duck's close homies, Can't Get Right. Melly came through to the party because he was cool with both camps, but they let him know that ops from TW may be there. Melly must have felt untouchable because he came through anyway, knowing there were going to be problems. 0078 ended up catching Melly lacking and shot him in front of the entire house full of people, with the whole thing being captured on camera. This time, Melly would not be as lucky and died that night. Melly would go down as one of the most feared shooters in the history of Chicago. He was Get so that nigga off the streets, man. The media outlets would often refer to Get that nigga off the streets, man. That nigga did, uh, Dirk no fire. Hey man, yeah, we chillin' bro. I really hope y'all like this video. All type shit. Go ahead. We, yeah, man. I'm sorry, I am. I'm sorry, sorry. Sorry, I'm hyped today. But anyway, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Oh, go ahead, like, and subscribe. What the fuck do? Get boys out of here. Hey, you want to know? Oh, nigga. Yeah. Me, Mike J. Wait.